life will always just take unexpected turns and you have to, I guess, just learn to ride the waves and find the joy and find the trust in the process because I, yesterday, was just talking about how, like, I was divinely guided to this van and it was perfect and uh, that's why the other one sold, that's why I had to, you know, change my rental car and get an automatic and realize that I wanted an automatic van and not a manual. And so, anyway, I thought that I found the van for me to do this solo travel in Europe. I'm here in France uh, in this, like, very quiet country town place uh, just because a family friend offered for me to stay here and I was so excited to find a van because I was like I don't know how long I can be here like this is very remote the past three months in Italy and Switzerland were also pretty remote um I don't know if my footsteps are loud here they always pick up so loud on the camera and so Today, I'm telling the guy like, yeah, yeah, like I'm super excited. I just want to make sure like, you know, we can bring the van to a uh, mechanic, like someone to check it out, inspect it. And he was like, no, we won't need to do that. Like I'll do all the work. It'll be fine. Once the MOT passes, like that's all you need. And like, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> like, I think he just expected me to be a dumb girl. And so uh, like, I know that the MOT here and like MOT is like the roadworthiness certificate that you need to register a car here in Europe, but um, it's not everything. So like an inspector inspection would look at other things as well. So that was important to me. And then he, <laughs> when I said like, no, I still want to do the inspection. He was like, uh, go find another car. <laughs> I was like, what? Like I drove three hours yesterday to go see this freaking thing. Um, and so that just kind of changed everything for me because I was like so sure that this was going to happen and it seemed so perfect. It was automatic. It had the solar, everything hooked up already. And, um, and the lesson that I'm realizing as I'm clearing my head on this walk, this, uh, very secluded walk, <laughs> um, is that I have the habit. I know a lot of people do of like something seems so good you know and then that you allow that to blind you from like the truth of the situation because it wasn't very obvious but like the little feelings i was getting yesterday like as soon as i got behind the wheel i kind of felt like no like it was like a quiet like no <laughs> but i was like no it's perfect and i just it just the more i'm doing this work the quieter it is and so the harder it is to listen to like before when I would be dating like narcissists who were like cheating and stuff it's like no obviously and I'm like nah <laughs> but this one's harder because you know as we get better and better at listening to our intuition we just have to learn to trust even when like it doesn't make sense in to your mind um and so, like, yeah, this goes for dating, this goes for anything. Like, even though it looks great, it seems to check all the boxes, if you're getting that feeling, then maybe it's not right. Like, when I was falling asleep or trying to fall asleep last night, I was just thinking back to a few things, and this sounds bad, but, like, <laughs> the man, he seemed nice. Like, I could read his energy, he seemed nice enough, but, like, just the way that he had his like vicious German shepherd in a car and one of the many cars in his driveway, uh, kind of like if anything were to go wrong, I guess his plan was to like release the beast <laughs> on me. Um, and then he also had like a knife on his, on his, uh, hip. And when we were driving, it was like when I was going to put it in drive, he kind of was like going to show me how to do it and just grazed my hand twice and I was just like that's weird like don't touch me you know especially like we don't know each other I'm like a female on my own I had my cousin on um speakerphone uh, to translate for most of the time he's in Switzerland but yeah this thing with solo female traveling looking for a converted van is like it's a little sketchy being on your own 
And so I was going to sleep. I was like, I don't know if I want to go back to his house. I don't know, like, to buy it. I don't want to, like, get back in the car with him when we have to do, like, the bank stuff and the inspection stuff. And, like, and so I was having those feelings. And that anxiety there was, like, key enough for me to realize, like, no, this isn't meant to happen. <laughs> and so then when he was like, go find another van, I was like, okay, I'll take this as a blessing, you know? And old me might have been like trying to people please like there was still that feeling within me like trying to people please and be like okay yeah you're right like we don't need to take it to the inspector like i trust you it's fine i'm excited like no we don't ignore these red flags we don't people please anymore and we just trust that better and better are coming and that that you can't put a time limit on things and that you have to be patient and allow the things that you want to come to you in divine timing <laughs> like the last one <laughs> the last one i saw the last van i saw i thought for sure was mine you know that wasn't it so i was like this one's for sure mine it was like it all divinely lined up to this but it's gonna be even better whatever it is it's even better and it's really important to hold that intention and to trust that and um, know that you're always guided, you know? And so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, and Arlo's got the zoomies. Um, the other part is like just being here in France now because I originally came for the first van <laughs> here to France. And it's just, it's like I was saying, it's really out here. Uh, but what I'm getting, downloaded with on this walk is like it's really important like this time is really important and like I just walked to town and it's not that far especially like when I ride my bike and like this path is really nice I can run on it which is great uh, I'll start running I miss exercise I think that will really help me just feel really good and centered and everything and it's all temporary like being out here and solo traveling it makes me remember what I miss <laughs> But like my brother is kind of talking to me about it yesterday too. It's like, it's just an experience. And like, eventually you go back and you can create the life of like what you want from all the things that you've learned from all the different cultures that you've seen. And just like immerse yourself, you know, that's why people go to like Africa to go like live with the tribes for a little bit is just to experience it. And I think that's why like, I was just having a hard time here the past few days because I'm like having culture shock. It's the buildings are old, like it's like, the buildings are built like 1817 and like all of them are like every building it's not like any modern houses or anything they're all stone and so I'm just like wow like where am I <laughs> like did I go back in time and I kind of I was joking but it kind of felt like I was like misplaced in the universe <laughs> And that's not true because I don't think that we're ever misplaced. I think we're always in the right place at the right time. And as I get quiet on this walk, after I've been so distracted for the past few days, trying to figure out the van thing, I just keep hearing like, this time is important. Like, let it be what it's meant to be and surrender to it. Like surrender to the discomfort and Ugh, biker. <laughs> um, and let it be what it's meant to be and also what was it? i was gonna say something else about that um surrender to the discomfort and oh and the expectation like the expectation theory and everything is like so fascinating like when we have expectations about people about situations like we literally create the outcome and like how people are going to act how things are going to happen right that's just like we all know this like <laughs> what you think your mind creates your reality um and so I can't go into this thinking like, this is going to be such a hard two months. Like I miss people. I miss my family. Like I just need to surrender. I'm like, okay, I'm here for a reason. I'm not misplaced in the universe. Everything is happening for me. Like, all right, what do you, what do you have? Why am I here? Show me, show me why you dangled these vans in my face to get me here. What is it? <laughs> and I'm just gonna, just gonna let it be, I guess. Uh, and so, I mean, Arlo's happy at least. He likes all the land and the openness here. I mean, I even like forgot a leash and it doesn't matter uh, for this walk because it's just open land forever. And I'm excited for like my family to get here and people to start visiting. It's just gonna be more fun like when I have a vehicle to host people, but my family will get a rental car and it'll be fine. So anyway. 
solo travel update. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow. If you're new here, if you like this video, like these thoughts and solo travel content, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here and I'll see you tomorrow.